What's up, dudes? I got a garden update. Check it out. It's been rainy here the past couple of days. So, my carrots are doing really good. We have beans coming up here. Peas there. Some more peas. I planted some more beans along the back. You can see. Where you at? That one right there, poking through. So I accidentally left all my, my beans, my bean seeds out. Oh my God, you guys, this stinks so bad. <laughs> it's like baba water. But if you look, let me drain some of it. I've been doing hydroponics. Uh, I, so I accidentally left these out. They got wet. They've been wet for a couple days. And they're splitting open and they're starting to sprout. And so I took all the ones that were sprouted. I'm trying to see if I can find any more. And planted them. This is my work area. It's kind of messy. Uh, these are, here's one you can kind of see. Whoa. Hello, darling. So that odor kind of skin slips off and a little root will start growing out. You can see it right there. And that's how it starts. And so you can see uh, this one right here. That's the root starting right there. So I'll take that one out and stick it in the ground because it's got a good start. I got a random tomato in here. My radishes, they're doing really good. Look at this one. Hold on. Should we do it? Let's unbox a radish. Oh my God, yummy, look how cute. So radish leaves can be, you can eat these too. So those can go in a salad when they're uh, young and not so like pokey pokey. Okay, pokey might mean something. So let's see what else is going on. Here's an example of the beans. So you can see, so, I, cause I was like, you know, out in the wild, there's nobody there to like push the beans on, under the dirt when they fall off the bean pod. So in theory, this is, pretend this is a, a plant out in the wild and it created a bean pod like we eat and a green bean. And then nobody was there to pick it. So it dried out and became this husk on the bean vine. And then in fall, the husk got really dry, it opened, and all the beans fell down. And then in winter time came, and then in spring and summer, right now, is what the beans would look like on the ground. See it? It's starting to plant itself. See how that works? See that poking out right there? Isn't that cool? So I decided to do a little experiment and just watch what what the beans actually do, out, what they would do out in the wild. And these are all, all the green ones are individual beans. You can see this one starting to come out. So out of the bean will come the leaf. Here's some more established beans. And all of these are vining. They'll grow up this deer fence in here. These are my, uh, some bell peppers. My peas. So everything's doing really good. My chives. I tried planting some corn in here, but it's just nothing's taken so I'm gonna pull all this out in the back 
I've got some beans along the back that'll grow up here. So that's a bean. That's a bean. I planted a zucchini. I went to the nursery and got a nice zucchini. I went to Bachman's, which is uh, a well-established nursery here in the Twin Cities. It's always a real treat to go there. And I went by myself last week, looked around, saw what they got. They had a beautiful zucchini plant, and so I put it there. Butternut squash. So the garden's doing really good. But what I really want to show is I need Barb's help because I have, in the butterfly garden, I have some aphids that have come. And so you can make a natural pesticide with a rhubarb leaf. So we don't eat rhubarb leaves because they're poison. We only eat the stem of them. Look at I got a huge hunk. Anybody need a rhubarb? I got a rhubarb plant right there. So I live in Richfield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this leaf. I've already got some water ready and together. If I can do this. Here we go. So I'm going to take this leaf and rip it into pieces. And I'm going to put it in the water. And I'm going to let the it soak in the water uh, in the shade for at least a day. And then I'll put it in a bottle and I'll make sure you have to really make sure you mark that that bottle is, is a pesticide, it's poison or insecticide. I don't know, whatever it is, you spray it on it and it'll kill these aphids but it won't hurt the plant. So, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna stick a rock on top of this so they're, so they're uh, all under the water. I'm gonna let it soak overnight and then we'll, we'll plan, we'll plan the stage of attack. You want to see the motherfuckers? Where you at? Where are you at? There you are. Oh my god. My, even my phone can't handle it. So I can't. I can't. So it'll be a fun experiment. To, put, to spray on these. They'll stay like this now. They're, it's a whole colony and they're all feeding. And so they're on this one and then another one, this one, and that one. So I'm gonna spray it, see what happens. Science class with Ms. Star. <laughs>